Hey YouTube, just out here trying to, got my little rain jacket on, looks awfully dark back that way, sun shining that way, it doesn't know what it wants to do. Uh, I thought I'd come out here and do a little VR to uh, for a, a Benjamin Mitchell, what a guy, he, uh, he uh, was talking about a certain you know, he asked us, is there a certain tobacco blend that um, takes us someplace, you know, like reminds us of uh, the past and uh, something, you know, that will take us back to a certain time. I, I uh, of course, we have something in common, Benjamin. We, uh, my first tobacco I ever bought and tried was uh, Captain Black Original. Um, I have told the story of how um, my grandfather used to smoke uh, Prince Albert, so you know that's a good fond memory. But here lately, I uh, been kind of in love with a blend, a lot like your uh, Blend 79, or I think it's what it's called, uh, which I'm gonna have to give that a try. Uh, but uh, it's one of my Favorite books and favorite blends, and that's um, Cornell and Dill's Haunted Bookshop. Uh oh, we're getting rained on. Let's see, we'll come over here. <laughs> Can you see me still? But uh, man, that just takes me to a, a whole different uh, time, a different era, different. This kind of takes me away because one of my ultimate uh, dreams is to, to to own I love books um, to own a bookshop and the old gentleman in the story if you've ever read he owns a book um, a bookshop and um, front in front of the store there's a sign that says um, this book uh, haunt this bookshop is haunted or something like that I can't remember um, and later on you find out that it basically is just uh, all the all, all the books, all the authors that he hasn't read haunt him. And uh, not in a literal sense, but it's it's like, you know, it's like you've got three or four books in, in the back of your mind that you keep telling yourself, I'm going to read one day. That's pretty much how he does it. And, and it seems like everywhere, every bookstore you go to, you always come across one of those copies and you just keep kind of putting it off and um, he says there's several of those type of books uh, out there and he you know they just keep coming back and haunting him until one of these days he's gonna sit down and read one of them um, but it's it's an awesome story it goes a little deeper than that um, great story and I can almost see myself in that story um, he belongs to a corn cob club that meets in the book bookshop every every week. Um, his whole life, he lives up above the bookshop. Uh, been married for quite some time. I can just see myself in that story, in that gentleman's life. And haunted bookshop, man, it also just has like. That nice earthy burly flavor with that um, punch of Perique and Virginia. Man, I can just, I could, uh, he's got, uh, Benjamin, you've got like five pounds of that blend you like, the blend 79, I think is what it's called. I could probably get at least five pounds of it and just smoke it every day. But it's a really a nice, you know, at the end of the night kind of smoke. And um, I love it, and uh, I believe it's probably one be one of those blends that I uh, I'll have until I'm old, you know. <laughs> and then I'll have something to really look back on because it, it also was my first blend that I ever sent off for. Um, just that name, Haunted Bookshop, and. Uh, and pipes and cigars and then the very last thing it says on the description is not for the faint of heart 
well it does have a nice nicotine uh, punch but that's also what uh, attracted to uh, attracted it to me <laughs> as well as the name but um well that's that's I'm smoking on my uh, 2016 pipe of the year's corn cob nation pipe and in it of course is haunted bookshop uh, that was a great idea Benjamin and um, you always have great videos and and if anybody's watching my videos and haven't seen Benjamin Mitchell look him up you guys have a good day and keep her smoking